Hello everyone, welcome to another episode on the Creative Phoebe channel where we as culinary curious millennials level up our culinary game so that we can confidently cook the foods we love to bring healing to our bodies. I'm your host Phoebe and today we're making some red lentil soup. I'd asked that question on Instagram earlier this week asking if you use red lentils and if you do, how do you use it? What do you make out of it? And I'm so excited to share with you how I use it, which is actually a recipe from my cookbook. So you can click that link in the description below to get your copy for free. It includes 12 delicious recipes. All right, let's get into this red lentil soup preparation. We're using three 115 grams of red lentils. That'll be one and three quarters cup. Okay, so after sorting that for good measure, making sure there are no pebbles, no stones in it, we're gonna wash it. We're gonna wash it until the water runs clear. You can either wash it in a mixing bowl like this one, or wash it using a sieve under the tap. Make sure there's running water over it. And until it runs clear, we're gonna soak it for 10 minutes while we prepare our aromatics. And that would be 52 grams of yellow onions. You can also use white onions if that's what you have on hand. We're just gonna slice it up and set it aside. We'll also do the same for the garlic. And we're using 19 grams, about five garlic cloves. All right, here we have some fresh parsley. And that'll be seven grams. We're gonna just chop it up really nicely. Okay, be sure to catch the ASMR version of this tutorial down in the link below. It's for your listening pleasure. That one doesn't have any voiceover or music, so let me know how you like it. Okay, here we have our pot and we put a heat on medium to start cooking. Later on, we'll increase the heat. Here we have two and a half tablespoons of olive oil. You can use grapeseed oil, sunflower oil, whatever you have on hand. Make sure you coat the bottom of that pan with oil, that way our aromatics can saute well. Okay, we here we have our onions and our garlic. I'm gonna saute it for about three minutes until they turn brown. Add in our parsley, and also four dried bay leaves. Be sure to stir these well. You may opt to substitute the parsley for basil leaves, which is also a really nice flavor, almost similar to lemon. We added in our salt, that's one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of coarse kosher salt, together with one tablespoon and one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you prefer, you can wait till the very end to add those one extra teaspoons, just to make sure you can adjust it to your preference. Let's start this, allow the spice to bloom, which will amplify their flavor. And do this for about three to four minutes. While keeping an eye on them, we're gonna drain our lentils. They've softened after soaking for 10 minutes. Here's a culinary discovery I'm gonna leave with you. Did you know that red lentils came from its brown counterpart? That's right. No wonder they cooked a lot quicker and they're also a lot softer after they're cooked. Now, the best way for you to find out is get brown lentils and gently pound them in a mortar using a pestle and you'll find out the interior of the brown lentil is red. So, hey, let me know in the comments below if you try it. All right, we added in our lentils and we're increasing the heat to a high. And we're gonna toast this together with the aromatics for about three minutes. All right, whilst it's toasting, we're just gonna watch it we're gonna stir it again and get ready to add in our water. And that will be about five and three quarters of a cup if you're using cups. If you're using a measuring scale, that will be 1.36 liters. We're gonna stir this again, just to make sure there's nothing sticking at the bottom of the pot. And we're gonna cover it with a lid and, and allow it to simmer for 12 to 15 minutes. All right, while that's happening, we're gonna make some fresh lemon juice. That'll be from two large lemons, and that would amount to one and a half milliliters of fresh lemon juice. And the purpose of adding a lemon juice is to tone down the earthy flavor of the lentils while adding a fresh citrusy aroma and taste to the soup. All righty, after 12 to 15 minutes, we're gonna stir this again for good measure. And hey y'all, this is almost ready. 
like we are almost done this takes about 30 minutes to cook from start to finish let's add in our lemon juice let's start again and give it another six to eight minutes to simmer and hey let me know in the comments below what kind of lentils you've had before was it green i mean there's some bluish ones they're brown ones i use a lot of lentils and i would love to share some with you but let me know let me know if you're interested to see lentil recipes on this channel all right let's taste that and make sure everything tastes well salt pepper maybe you want less lemon or you want more lemon juice and after that we're going to turn off the heat and hey, join me as we sprinkle on our vocal spice. Alrighty. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of nourishment to strengthen our minds and bodies. Help us to stay active, alert, and compassionate towards one another as we gather to share a meal. Amen. Alright, I'm serving this with a traditional ladle on a chilly day here in Chicago. So it's chilly wherever you are. This is perfect to wake you up. Hey, you can also have it with a crust of bread. And while you're at it, be sure to comment below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on all notifications. Till then, take care of your healthy selves, be culinary curious, and chat with you in my next episode. Goodbye!